mercy, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. Let me remind you about the Covenant Sunday on 10th September. Take it serious. I know there are people who are always, you know, misleading others. If you can mislead yourself, you can even mislead others. Anything from above is above all. This Covenant Sunday is going to be a pillar for your family, a pillar for the future of the children yet unborn. A lot has been done in our family, minus our knowledge. Something is standing against the future of the family, the future of our children. I know that, you know, we have been uh, planting. Uh, if you plant and you cannot harvest, then something is wrong somewhere. Because when you plant, you need to harvest. Mm -hmm. Remember, God made the covenant with Abraham. He made a covenant with David, with a promise. He said, out of you, there shall be queen and kings, queens and kings. The same promise is there for you and me. But what we are lacking is the principle to understand the way God works. We are saving a covenant-keeping God, if you don't know this. You cannot say you are a child of God without a covenant. There is blood covenant. There are so many covenants that people have made, minus our knowledge. Some of us, where we are coming from, personally, myself, when I talk about this, I understand what it means to be a true Christian and to be a member of the church or a religious man. When you are in this covenant with God Almighty, you are no longer connected to the family foundation. Some of the names that we are bearing, they give you that name with the meaning to challenge someone within the family. For example, you name your child Mutasha. If you ask the father or the mother, what is the meaning of this Mutasha? They will tell that Mutasha Ngakarikwisa, meaning Babru Wandinga Nava Pelavala Tashani, Balatasha. Who gave you that idea to name your child like this? It's because there's a conflict. Muela. If you ask them, where did you get this name, Muela? I'm not saying names are bad, but the source. It's more like money. When you are having money, and your money came from, you know, a, 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 a witch, witchcraft power, this one is having money which came from, you know, the blessings of God. The color is the same, but the strength is not the same. I mean, the power behind that money is not the same. The way you are going to use the money and the way this is going to use the money is not the same. So this Covenant Sunday is important to you and me. What made God to hold that promise up to today, including me and you, we always pray, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, there is something in Israel they established to hold the covenant. It is not for personal gain, 
but to make sure that we change the foundation of our family. Dedication to God Almighty is very, very important. Praise the Lord. So that is 10th September. I am not saying this because I am going to Israel. No, this has been in me for quite some time. I shared with these, you know, few individuals who knows what I'm talking about. I said, this is what I've been hearing, that we need to do this. No one can bring you down. Those who are going to be part of this, mark my word, we are here on earth. You will come back and say, Pastor, this is what you said. And you look, this way. Once you do that, and the oath of God stands, where you can see that this is me who have, who have you know, built this altar. <laughs> my brother, my father. Not even Satan himself who can challenge you or challenge your children. All these, you know, things Satan has, you know, has been planting in our family. The altar will be there to stand for you and speak for you. Yes. Will be there. So that is a reminder for 10th what? Mm, September. And you, you are going to get something from the altar and you are going to declare it just here and the answer shall remain with you mark my word what can bring you people together here is a man like me can can i bring you together like this the answer is no the invisible nature of god is at work i was listening to the, my sister's testimony where she said i'm sure i heard the, the confession from the sister what can make someone to develop that courage, even in pain, to say, I'm going there? The Spirit of God is pushing you to say, go and offload this problem on my altar. If you keep them, this is your enemy will bring you down. I'm sure my sister is single. Please, men who are looking for someone to marry, these are the people that you need to marry. Hmm? She's now clear. She's what? She cannot beat you. She's no longer a fighter. So if you want to marry, these are the people you need to follow and say, uh, can I be? I'm sure she will just answer, yes, you can. Mm. These are the people you need to marry. She's delivered. She's what? Uh -huh. So don't look at, the, you know, I mean, go outside and start looking for uh, women inside the tavern. You are calling demons. But from the house of God, you are calling pure God, pure diamond which is going to shine in your life. Amen. So if you are not married, please, you see me, I'll be your shuko, so that you uh, can take your salam. Uh, I'll be the shuko for you so that you marry the sister. Thank you. Tell your neighbor, say, my testimony is from above. Say it again. My testimony. Say it again. Yes. My testimony is from above. Whether the people who hate you or hate me, they like it or not, as long as it is from above, they can do nothing. And this is the message I want to put inside you. I'm still talking about Jesus. He's from above. He's from where? Mm -hmm. John 3 verse 31 is one of the scriptures. And John 17, verse 2. If you go to John 3, verse 31, the Bible says that anyone from above is above all. Any word from Jesus is above whoever has been there cursing the family, wishing you bad things. Your testimony is from above. Your healing is from above. Your deliverance is from above. Your breakthrough is from above. Your restoration is from above. Nothing that can which you know, can do. Listen to John 17. You can read John 3 verse 31, but let me read John 17 verse 2. For 
you granted him authority over all the people that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Who is this person? Hmm? That is Jesus now. This is the prayer Jesus prayed. He prayed to be glorified because anything that will come out from his mouth, no one can change it or stop it. So he's now telling his father, for you granted him authority over all the people that he might give them eternal life. Anything from Jesus cannot be limited by your situation or your enemies or your problem. The only thing you need to do is to change the way you think about Christianity. Christianity is not just a record as it is written, no. It is the reality of his power. It is a reality of his presence. When God is talking to you and you are also believing in his word, his word becomes the reality of his power in your life, not outside your life. To change what has been, you know, disturbed by your enemy. Maybe you don't know this. There is no way God can bless you without giving you eternal life first. You need to receive his spirit as a sign of you being saved. For you granted him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to all those you have been given him. Now, this is verse 3. Now, this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. They know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Jesus said now, I have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. Which work? To give you eternal life. And when you possess eternal life, you possess all the blessings. Meaning, your testimony now of life is from above. You believe in Jesus, you possess his life. You became the life of Jesus. You became the image of Jesus. You became the reality of his word. Are you getting the point? When you be, he came to give eternal life, not to recruit members. Make no mistake. Jesus was not interested in recruiting what? No, no, no. He came to give life. And once the, that life is given to you, then you are like Jesus. Enemies will be there. Witches and wizards will be there. Snakes will be there. But they can do you nothing because your testimony is from where? From above. What was happening to Jesus was permitted by God Almighty. Come on, church. You are not getting me. What was happening to him during his earthly ministry was permitted by the Father in heaven. In fact, he even told the king, he said, there's nothing that you can do if it is not the permission from my father. What you are doing to me, God has permitted you to do that. Meaning, when this life is in you, even those who are, you know, who are intent to bring you down, kill you, frustrate you, they can do nothing. Because the one from above is in you. Challenges will be there. But those challenges are not there to bring you down or to destroy you. But to show the world that God Almighty is all. And no one can defeat you. He came to do that. Make no mistake, people of God. Meaning, But any problem can visit your life, but that problem cannot bring you down because your testimony is from above. That is the word. Your testimony is from where? Above. 
Inda shikuti shia ingila na munganda, shia chitanevo shirefu wogu chita, shia bombane. By the permission of your father in heaven to show them that you are nothing but a bunch of darkness. This one is calling a testament from where? Delay is not a denial. As long as it is the will of God. Just be patient. Your testimony is from? You are not yelling me. Now, this is verse 5. Now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Who can challenge this word? No one can challenge this word. He was given authority over all. This is why when Jesus was walking, preaching everywhere, it was not his time for him to be arrested or killed. He was walking freely. <clears throat> freely, preaching, freely. They were just whispering. When the time came, he said, the hour has come. The hour was what? People of God. I want you to know that those who confess that I'm a child of God with their mouth and their heart is also confessing something different. They are just digging their own grave. But if you confess that Jesus is my father, I believe in him. Whether they like it or not. Listen to John 3 verse 31 so that uh, uh, I will not leave you like this. 31. The one who came from above is above all. The one who is from the earth, he belongs to the earth. And he speaks as one from the earth. The one who comes from God, uh, who comes from heaven, is above all. A child of God is calling this word. Because this is the word Jesus, you know, uh, delivered to you. He will not confess like someone who is just, you know, a, a human being without a foundation. When I say foundation, I mean Jesus, the hope of life. Our confession is not like their confession. We don't confess. Even in sickness, we always confess what? Good health. Because my testimony is from where? Tell your neighbor, say your testimony is from above. Fear no one. Your testimony is from above. Yes. Ichi che wata cha katari achi futika, tacha katari achi chingishwa, cha dilimwa cha dikala chini na muri ifwe. I am a testimony. You are a testimony. And people will start now talking about you. How come? What happens? No way. One man of God was telling me that uh, uh, people are saying, you have put something in me, uh, a marine spirit in me. A man of God followed me and said, uh, you are going to Mlenga Mlenga, put a marine spirit. I said, I don't even know where to get marine spirit. Me, I carry what? Jesus. Your, your life must be, you know, uh, bring that argument. Because you are carrying something which is not common. Are you there, people of God? Your testimony is from above. No one can understand where you are getting all this, you know, strength. The courage, the determination, the focus, the movement. No one could understand this. Where they are expecting you to start confessing failure. You are saying, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.